Hey guys, it's Kevin. Today I'm going to show you how to take the cover off Epson Workforce Pro WF6090. This thing is massive, so if something goes wrong, you'll probably get intimidated by opening it up. Uh, let me show you how to open it. It's quite easy. Turn the printer to its back, and we're going to remove four screws. Lift the back paper guard, you're going to see two screws on top. Now the top cover can be easily taken off. I said easily. So you need to find the three, uh, not three, five screws on top. And there are three of them in the front, quite easy to see. And there are two of them in the middle, right there. And uh, just unscrew them. Now turn the printer to the front facing you. Use a screwdriver to pry from the left, and it's quite easy to slide uh, the, this part off. You're going to find uh, six screws on top, and uh, take off those six screws. Make sure you count exactly the number of screws. Absence cases are very easy to take off, unless you miss a screw. That's why they call it a screw. Now the front LCD can be taken off. Now you're going to find the five screws. After those five, the front panel can be taken off. And uh, two more screws on the right panel. And then take it off. Uh, put this wire out of the socket and uh, unwind it. That part is a mechanical sensor that sense if the door is closed or not. If you get air that the front cover is not uh, closed, uh, you already solved the problem by coming come, uh, by going this far. So just go to bchtechnologies.com and looking for a mechanical. Uh, cannot spell mechanical. Uh, mechanical open closed door sensor and a dollar ninety nine will fix your problem. Okay, now I'm gonna take uh, two screws off the front before we remove the cover. Start from that corner, and your goal is lift the thing up. Okay, not forward, lift it up. So when you lift it up, see, and uh, it's gonna slide forward. Lift up, lift up, lift up. We are about to reach the bottom, and uh, look under the bottom, see there's a little spot right there. You can put your screwdriver screw in, see, and uh, that's gonna come out. Another side, let me show you. Push it in, see it come out. This is the most difficult part. Let me do it again, just show you. And uh, see if you get a, uh, you get a hand of it, and it's quite easy. Lift up, lift up, you can look here, click. And uh, just start working around it, and uh, turn it upside, to, to turn it to the bottom, and uh, push. There we go. And uh, finally, those are two last screws. Now we're gonna take this case off, and uh, the key is in the back. Okay, let me turn it to the back. Start from the front, work all the way here, and put your finger here to hold the position. Now pry it right here, and now the IV component is exposed inside. Now you can do your own thing, uh, changing the printhead, cleaning the printhead, or whatever you want. Okay, if this is not nerdy enough for you, go visit uh, www.bchtechnology.com or locally, Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers!